Sorry for the delay in video blogging. Uh, life on the road has proved to be a little bit challenging at times, uh, trying to find Wi-Fi or just being not too tired to stay awake and record a video and then upload it and all that stuff. So um, I'm going to just catch you guys up to date. It's going to be a little bit longer of a video this time because uh, we got a lot of ground to cover. Uh, last time I talked about the riding like a thousand miles in a day iron butt challenge that I did. Did that, uh, made it to Kentucky, hung out with my family. I was there for about a week and then I just decided to ride to California. It wasn't on my plans. I actually was going to do the Natchez Trace afterwards to come back to Florida, but I, uh, I decided why not. So it's 2,200 miles. I did it in three days. Um, it was uh, challenging to say the least. It was okay the first day, but a little tiresome. I had already been on my motorcycle for almost 4,000 4, miles at that point and uh, was pretty tired, but you know, did it, push through. Um, day one was okay. I wanted to keep going because it was pretty hot. However, I made it to Oklahoma and I started to hit Indian Reservation uh, one after the other and it was late at night and there wasn't like gas stations that were open or towns and I don't know, I started to think maybe this isn't the smartest because if I were to break down or run out of gas, there's literally no one to help me and it was pretty like gnarly scary out there in the dark. So I found a little hotel, pulled off. I um, normally pull my motorcycle into the room, but I couldn't because the lip was so big and I couldn't get it in and I didn't want to wake anyone up. So I slept with my window open, like and woke up like every hour checking on my bike. Then I woke up at three and it was raining outside. So I pulled my bike under the awning of the hotel, couldn't sleep without my bike. So I went under the awning and slept with my bike until, uh, until about six when they opened the hotel up and I stole some trash bags, covered everything in plastic and headed out. There was a really bad thunderstorm for about 80 miles and uh, I just knew I had to push through that and then it was just smooth sailing afterwards. Made it through it and uh, just kept going. I think uh, my next stop for the night was in um, Arizona. So I did that, it was so hot during the day and so lonely <laughs> that I kind of started to feel nauseous and sick. Uh, but, you know, just plenty of water. I, I didn't really want to take breaks because I just wanted to fucking get there. So uh, I would just not even get off my bike. I'd pull up to a gas stop. I would fill up and just take off and uh, got to Arizona and then the next day, California. So it was the 4th of July, America's birthday. <laughs> And then, it was, you know, California was fun. I, I was out there, did some work on my bike. I did a service again, a 10K service, which I did at 5 a.m. before I left. I'd never done that before, but YouTube has been my best friend. And also, I know a few people in the industry that have helped me out. So, got some good advice and did all the service that I needed. Did it again when I got to California. Add a new suspension to my bike because... I was so stupid not to do it. Everyone told me to before, but I like that slam look. Now it's different. It's getting a little bit more comfortable. While in California, I actually got hit by a car, um, splitting lanes. No big deal. It just happens. A car just came over, saw me, swerved. I swerved, and my uh, brake caught something of their car. I have no idea what because it happened fast and just bent back, uh, my back brake. But it works fine. It's actually a little easier to get to now. Um, everyone was alright, kept my bike up straight. I think it was uh, just uh, just really good reaction time is, is what it boils down to. Um, then I uh, needed to fly back to Florida to take care of some personal stuff. So I left my bike at uh, Roland Sands Design, which is where it's at now, and I fly out tomorrow to go see it. I miss my baby. And to also um, train flat tracking at Paris Speedway, and then to race the Lost Highway race this weekend with the Hooligan Flat Track uh, Indian Motorcycle Team. Uh, it should be fun. I'm actually really, really, really nervous about it. I'm not a professional flat tracker. I have very little experience at it. Um, I do love to race and be competitive, and I like to challenge myself all the time, but uh, people tend to get pretty hurt at these things, and it's hard 
to not ignore it, you know, when your friends are sending you pictures of their blown out hand or busted knee or whatever, you know. Um, I'm just going to do my own thing, ride my own ride, probably be slow at the back of the pack, but that's totally cool. Just, uh, it'll be an experience for sure. Um, so yeah, do that and then fly back home to Florida to take care of a couple of things for two more days and then back out and ride to Sturgis. Plan after that is to be in Sturgis for about 14 days. Then I'm solo again on my motorcycle. It's 2,700 miles home. I'm going to just be touring, uh, a lot of the north, uh, more down the middle, and some of the east before I get home. I haven't really figured out where yet, but um, yeah, I should be back by uh, by September ish. And then uh, this whole motorcycle trip that was only supposed to be six weeks is finally going to be done after a few months. And uh, right now, I've logged uh, right almost seven thousand miles on my motorcycle, and that was in thirty six days. Yeah, it was a uh, it was incredible to be able to do that, and I tell you, once you do something like that, you feel like you can fucking do anything. I'm, uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> and you can do it too. <laughs> anyway, that's catching you up to date. If you want to know anything, just like leave a comment underneath this video and ask me questions, and then the next video I make, I'll be sure and answer them for you. And thanks for watching.